All right, guys, we're gonna be going over attacks from Neon Belly, okay? One of the attacks we're gonna go for is our X choke. Neon Belly is a really great position to attack from or transition, okay? It's good to know both, right? So I'm starting in side control, okay? From here, I wanna make sure that when I transition to Neon Belly, I don't wanna give Brennan any space in order to start recovering his guard. So what I like to do, take the bottom hand, I'm gonna hook right by his collar, okay? And now my far hand is gonna come back and I cup the hip and I bring my elbow in just a little bit across his hip bone, okay? And what this does is it blocks the ability for him to bring his knees up past my forearm. So once I'm here, arm back, he tries to bring that leg in, it's pretty difficult. And now from here, the same side, elbow uh, and knee are gonna connect right on top of his stomach. So one, two, and then from here, I extend my outside leg. Now I'm in the knee on belly position. Attacking right away, I don't wanna give him time to start figuring out a defense. Open up the near side collar. I cross collar him, knuckles down to the mat, palm up. And from here, the opposite side, you can finish a bunch of ways. You can go four fingers in the collar, you can go thumb in the collar. It's really your preference. Practice both and see which one works best. I prefer thumb down. So once I go thumb down in the collar, I punch Brendan's uh, the base of his neck down to the mat. I try to connect my wrist through his neck for the choke. When you're doing this, you wanna make sure that you're not flaring your elbows too much, okay? You wanna think about really pulling the collar around the neck and finishing and making those wrists connect through the neck. Always ask your partner, hey, how is that feeling? Did you feel it right uh, on the side of the neck? Did you feel it on the front? Right, make sure you're getting some active feedback to make sure that we're applying the technique correctly. 